The, the good thing about this room is that I can control the lighting much more than I can in, in the larger space out the front of the unit. And I have various lighting rigs that you can see oh, there. Okay, yeah. uh, um, the way it's set up from, for the, at the moment, for instance, it, there's an overhead light mm. um, which you can't get with natural light. And it's a, sort of slightly inquisitorial and it has a different quality about it. The other thing I've set up to do is use um, coloured backgrounds. And um, because the paper is such a complex mottled sort of colour, it gives me a tonal range, but the colour, I can vary the, the, the colour. So I've got a tonal yep. marker, and, yep. um, and as long as I can stay within the tonal marker, it, it gives me a, a, a sort of an ambient, a, a, a light ambience that, is, that has, its, has its basis in what I'm perceiving. In some ways, I imagine what I'm doing. Um, so I guess the more experience I have, I bring to the, to the painting, the more I'm becoming aware that there is a sort of an imaginative dimension um, to that process of observation as well. There's a lot of scope there for how you interpret what it is that you're seeing and it's a highly selective you can't put everything down no, because that's it's, right. it's not even it's not it, it's not possible anyway it's a selective process mm. it's not it's not an exhaustive one it can't be an exhaustive one mm. i've recently shifted to a much heavier um, grain of linen uh, and i i reverse it particularly on the smaller work so that um, in fact the primed side is to the uh, rear of the canvas and then I reprime the front which is a lot to do with me nodding in the direction of um, modernism and uh, having the, the raw edges of the canvas exposed so that you really get a sense of the, the, the skin of the paint on the front of the canvas. The texture of the linen, the also quality has changed the way that I apply paint um, and think about how it goes on and, mm. and that's been a really interesting process. I've, I've found that it's changed um, the implements I use, for instance I use uh, a palette knife in a different way now. I've always used it both in the past to subtract rather than to add paint and um, I sort of do both now. Are these, are these works that are going into the uh, drill hall um, show that's coming yes, up? Yes, yes. The show is a survey of sorts and, um, and Terence Maloon said he wanted some new work so uh, off I went and <laughs> made some very big paintings. <laughs> um, which has been uh, quite an interesting process actually because I haven't worked in this space with large works as yet. Um, well it's very high ceilinged here so it, mm. it's, um, it's a great space and the great light as you say it's south facing isn't it? Yeah the ceilings are marvellous, very yeah. sort of generous for uh, even for a Sydney warehouse conversion and um, uh, but the, if I want to get the paintings out any bigger than this they have to be taken off their stretches. These ones will go through the door oh, and do down they? the fire escape. <laughs> Wow, they are high doors. Oh, oh no, no, no it's on, on this side, on this side at an angle. <laughs>